All right, so we're back and we're here talking about the DF Robot uh, Nano Shield with the DF Robot Nano uh, 168. Basically, this is a nano chip and it comes with the AT Mega 168. The, the actual shield that it comes on is optional, it does not come with the unit, you have to purchase it. What we find is that some people actually plug right into this board. Um, what we do is we don't do that, we actually purchase the shield to give us the ease of use of the nano. Again, this varies based off what your product or what your project requires. Um, if you require something small and lightweight, this is definitely something to go with. There are two versions of this, the 168 and the 368. Uh, I believe there are some differences, obviously, and those will be fully detailed in our, in our product write-up, so we suggest you read that. As you can see, just like with all the other products that we've uh, reviewed and the DF Robots uh, Arduino line, um, they're easy to use. They use the open source community, you know, the, commu the open source community's uh, IDE for Arduino. So you can just simply open that up, plug this in via USB right here. Now it's a mini USB, unlike all the other all the other boards you've seen from DF Robot that have the larger USB. However, it plugs right in, detects right away, supports independent servo and regular power, has digital and analog ports, serial ports, and uh, I2C ports. So here you have your analog, you have your digital, and you have I2C right over here. Uh, in conjunction with that, let's see what else do we have. You have some, yep, you have serial port here, and that's about it. This is a fairly straightforward board. There's not much to it, really. Uh, but, again, when you're choosing the product, you gotta make sure you choose the right one. It does not come with this project box that we have it mounted into. It just comes with, actually, when you purchase it, it's just this one little piece here. And then this is an optional uh, nano shield or nano mounting uh, board or whatever you want to call it. Let's see, what do they call it here? This, yes, this is the nano expansion board. So basically that's it. Uh, there's not much to it. Again, choose the right product for the right project. Um, research it, check the ports, make sure it's what you need. If you need more, choose something better. If you need buttons, maybe choose the Romeo. If you need just a lot of expansion, choose the Mega. But this one serves as a great deal. I've also seen this used a lot in UAVs without the expansion shield, just directly with this. Um, this one, you know, the actual mic controller they're selling. And that's about it. Take care, and uh, we hope that this has helped you somewhat. Make sure to read up our full read up our, our full product uh, write up on this, so you can see all the differences. And we're going to actually do a comparison. The comparison is going to include the 168 versus the 368, which is this one right here. As you can see, minus this additional sensor, they are literally, literally identical. The only thing that's different is the actual chip. One reads 368, one reads 168. That's about it. Take care and we hope that this has helped.